Hey everyone, it's EJ from iDesign.com and I'd like to introduce a little plugin called UberDelay. Now what is UberDelay? Well, UberDelay came from a need for not wanting to be just restricted to individual modes on a delay effector. So if you want, if you apply a delay effector to your cloner or whatever object you want to add some delay springy or blendiness or whatever, you have to apply a delay effector, choose spring, and then if you wanted to blend the springiness of the delay effector, you'd then have to apply a second delay. Now, I didn't want to go through the hassle of having to add another delay effector, and then if you even wanted to add like an even kind of effect to it, you'd then have to apply a third delay effector, and then that's just a huge mess. So what Uber Delay is, is it just condenses all of those three modes that you can choose for a delay, and it just brings it in this one uber delay effector. So you'll see that on this original delay effector, I have it set to spring at 80%. And on this uber delay, I also have a spring strength set to 80. But I also have blend and even uh, effects applied to it as well. So the orange cubes here are the uber delay cubes. And the white cubes are going to be the old plain regular delay effector with just the spring. So you can see the difference between the two. So you see on the uber delay cubes we have a nice springiness but it's also blended and evened out so you have a lot more control over the different types of spring that you can add to your objects via effectors. So you can get more creative than just adding a spring and just controlling the strength of that strength of that spring but you can also spread out that spring so you can see how this this little arc is a lot longer than this little wave here so let's do uh, another example of using it with the blend so let me set the scene here so this is the delay effect with just an 80 percent blend and here's uber delay with no springiness with the 80 percent blend but also an even strength of 93 and if I hit play here, again, our uber delay is going to be on the right side or in the orange. And you can see that we have a different kind of blend applied to our cube movement. So, like I said before, you can really get creative and have more finer control with the type of delay effects uh, and movements that your delay effector can apply to your objects be, uh, by using this uber delay and not just being constricted to using either spring, blend, or even, but you can use all or just a couple or you know whatever you want to do. And the nice thing is, is that if you go under the effector tab here, you can also rearrange how, your, how these effectors are being applied. So say you want the springiness to be applied last, uh, you can do that. Uh, let's go back to our actual spring here. So let's say we want to uh, make the springiness effect last and we can hit play and see what this looks like. So not a whole huge amount of difference but it's just nice to know that you can also change the amount or change the hierarchy and how everything is applied so whatever delay effect you want and then you have the overall strength of all the effectors or all the delay effects controlled in this main strength slider here so hopefully this is a nice little time saver uh, and hopefully it gets you to experiment with more with using more of the options that are available with the delay effector by using the uber delay effector because now you can start stacking different types of delay and get a little bit uh, more interesting delay effects with your animations. Enjoy!